Welcome back to Phoenix Forge. So today I thought I'd cover the three essential hammers you need to start blacksmithing. Okay, so the first and most important hammer on our shopping list is of course the trusty crossbeam hammer. Been around for over a thousand years, design hasn't changed much because it's perfect. Used for doing general day-to-day -day forging, drawing out material and doing all those other hundreds of different forging operations that we do. The peen is where it obviously gets its name. It's a cross peen. You do of course get straight peens and diagonal ones as well for more specialist equipment, but you don't need one of those yet. Your handy cross peen will do most things in the forge. So, of course, we've got our main striking face for doing our general, general forging. But the important thing with the cross peen is that peen on the back end, and that allows me to stretch material in two directions forwards and backwards. Great for doing things like flaring, drawing out, adding texture. It's just a brilliant design, which is why it hasn't changed since the days of the Vikings. The cross peen hammer. Now the second most important hammer you can get your hands on ready for blacksmithing is of course the engineer's ball peen. Used universally for all sorts of metalworking. Favourite of the engineers of course, hence the name. But that nice ball peen allows us to do all sorts of tasks. From simple things like dishing, to spreading material for riveting. All sorts of processes. Absolutely brilliant bit of kit. First ever hammer I purchased was one of these. And it saw me well for you know, a good five years. So I'm all the way through blacksmithing college uh, until I had the opportunity to obviously forge myself some new hammers and replace this one. Brilliant. Now, as we said before, the great thing about ball peen not only gives us a brilliant texture, gives us that nice sort of hammered finish on top of bars, but also spreads that material in all directions away from the center of that ball peen. Allows us to get some great impact, give it a lot of force, and really spread that material around. My favorite sort of hammer if I'm gonna be doing some riveting. Last but not least is of course the trusty turning hammer. It's the ball peen's bigger brother. Now, just like the other hammers, the turning hammer gives us an awesome texture, that nice hammered finish. Great for adding detail to bars. Also great for doing massive rivets, but where the turning hammer comes into its own is bending up as well as dishing. Now that nice domed face, absolutely brilliant for dishing, getting in those tight spots and give me a nice surface finish as well. Now that's not to say that those three hammers are the only ones that we use here in the blacksmith shop. We've got everything from tiny little toffee hammers all the way up to 14 pound railway sledges. Now those three hammers will get you started on your blacksmithing journey. Uh, so please remember to click like and subscribe and we'll see you next time at Phoenix Forge.